Hello, adventurers. Welcome to Traveling Kangaroo, your ultimate guide to globetrotting. Today, we're diving into the top 10 things to do in the captivating city of Bloemfontein, South Africa. So, buckle up and get ready for an amazing journey through Bloemfontein. First on our list is the Franklin Game Reserve, a unique city-based wildlife sanctuary. Nestled atop the serene Naval Hill, this reserve is a haven for indigenous wildlife. It's home to a variety of animals, including zebras, giraffes, and a host of antelope species, all roaming freely in their natural habitat. But the Franklin Game Reserve isn't just about the wildlife, it offers a splendid panorama of the city of Bloemfontein, making it a favorite spot for both local and international visitors. The views from the top are absolutely stunning, offering a unique blend of urban landscapes and unspoiled nature. The reserve is also deeply intertwined with the city's history and culture, offering a glimpse into Bloemfontein's rich past. It's a place where nature and city life intertwine seamlessly, creating a unique experience for every visitor. One can't help but marvel at the breathtaking landscapes and diverse wildlife. The Franklin Game Reserve truly is a must-visit when you're in Bloemfontein. Next, we dive into the vibrant art scene at the Olievenhuis Art Museum. This museum, nestled in the heart of Bloemfontein, is a treasure trove of South African creativity. With a history that spans over three decades, it stands as a testament to the nation's artistic heritage. Originally a residence for the Governor General of the Union of South Africa, this neo-Dutch style mansion was transformed into a museum in the early 1980s. Its architecture, a blend of modern and traditional elements, mirrors the diversity of the art it houses. Inside, you'll find an extensive collection of South African art, from early 20th century pieces to contemporary works. Each room tells a different story, each artwork a unique perspective, and it's not just about the paintings and sculptures. The museum also hosts workshops, art classes, and guided tours, making art accessible to all. Immerse yourself in the rich culture and artistic expressions at Olievenhuis. Take a step back in time at the first Radsal, the oldest surviving building in Bloemfontein. Erected in the early 1800s, this humble structure of dung floors and thatched roof is a testament to the city's humble beginnings. It served as a meeting place for the local government, or Rod, hence the name Rodsal, which translates to Council Hall in English. The first Rodsal played a crucial role in the formation of Bloemfontein. It was here where important decisions about the city's development were made, shaping the Bloemfontein we know today. Now, this historical building houses a museum, showcasing relics from the city's past. From old government documents to antique furniture, the first Rodsal Museum provides a glimpse into the city's fascinating history. A visit to the first Rodsal is a journey through the fascinating history of Bloemfontein. It's a reminder of how far the city has come, from a small Radsal to the vibrant city it is today. Now, let's soak up the sun at the Mazel Sport Resort, a perfect getaway on the banks of the Modder River. This haven of tranquility offers a range of facilities that cater to all tastes. Picture yourself lounging by the pool or if you're feeling more adventurous, testing your skills on the water slide. You could also partake in some friendly competition on the tennis courts or a mini golf course. In the heart of this resort, you'll find a host of activities that will keep you entertained. From fishing to bird watching, there's never a dull moment. And when the day is done, retreat to the comfort of your fully equipped chalet nestled amidst the natural beauty of the free state landscape. Let's not forget about the surrounding areas. The resort is enveloped by lush greenery, a testament to the richness of the region's flora and fauna. Whether you're a thrill seeker or a nature lover, Maisel Sport Resort has something for everyone. Keeping the history theme going, the National Museum is up next on our list. Nestled in the heart of Bloemfontein, the National Museum is a treasure trove of South African heritage. Housing an astonishing collection of over one million items, it's a testament to the rich tapestry of the nation's history. From ancient fossils and archaeological finds to cultural artifacts and ethnological exhibits, the museum offers a panoramic view of South Africa's past. This cultural hotspot is more than just a museum. It's a vibrant, living testament to the country's journey, from its earliest inhabitants to the present day. Each exhibit tells a story, capturing moments in time and offering insights into the people, events, and forces that have shaped South Africa. The National Museum isn't just a destination, it's an experience, a journey through time that illuminates the country's past and enriches our understanding of its present. 
uncover South Africa's past and present at the National Museum. Visit the place where it all started, the Waihoik Wesleyan Church, the birthplace of the African National Congress. Nestled in the heart of Bloemfontein, this humble church bears a legacy of immense significance. It was within these walls, in 1912, that the African National Congress, or ANC, was founded, marking a pivotal moment in the anti-apartheid movement. The church's history is steeped in the struggle for freedom and equality, making it a beacon of hope and resilience. Now, it serves as a museum, preserving the story of the ANC and its role in shaping modern South Africa. Here, you can explore exhibits that delve into the lives of the brave individuals who stood against oppression, their struggles, and triumphs. The Waihok Wesleyan Church is more than just a building. It's a symbol of a nation's transformative journey. A visit to this historic site is a testament to South Africa's enduring spirit. Next, we explore the serene beauty of Happy Valley, a tranquil haven in the heart of the city. This oasis of calm and tranquility is a natural treasure, offering a stunning canvas of lush greenery dotted with flowers of every hue. Happy Valley is the perfect place for nature enthusiasts, with its network of walking trails that wind through the landscape, offering glimpses of the local flora and fauna. Whether you're a seasoned hiker looking for a challenging trail or a casual walker seeking a leisurely stroll, Happy Valley has a path for you. The valley is a magnet for birdwatchers and wildlife enthusiasts, with its rich biodiversity offering a chance to spot a variety of species in their natural habitat. It's a place where you can reconnect with nature, breathe in the fresh air, and soak in the sights and sounds of the great outdoors. Escape the hustle and bustle of city life in the peaceful embrace of Happy Valley. Step into the world of politics and power at the Old Presidency, a significant landmark in South African history. This venerable edifice, nestled in the heart of Bloemfontein, bears the legacy of South Africa's political past. Constructed in the late 19th century, it served as the official residence for the president of the then Orange Free State. Its architectural beauty is a testament to the British influence prevalent during the era. The old presidency, however, isn't just an architectural marvel. It holds stories of a nation's journey, its struggles, and its triumphs. Today, it stands as a museum, housing a trove of artifacts and displays that echo the voices of the past. The museum presents a vivid portrayal of the lives and times of the presidents who once walked its halls. It's an immersive experience, a journey back in time, a narrative woven in history and heritage. The old presidency offers a glimpse into the political landscape of yesteryears. We honor the brave at the National Women's Memorial, a tribute to the women and children who suffered during the Second Boer War. This hallowed site, established in 1910, stands as a testament to the resilience and strength of these individuals. Their stories etched in stone and bronze echo through time, reminding us of the trials they endured. The memorial's towering 47 feet tall sandstone obelisk, crowned by the poignant statue of a mother and her children, symbolizes their struggle for survival. The inscriptions on the base give voice to their silent tales of hardship, resilience, and ultimately, endurance. This memorial is not just about remembering the past, it's about understanding the significance of these events in shaping South Africa's present and future. It's a place that invites contemplation, respect, and acknowledgement of the sacrifices made by these brave women and children. The National Women's Memorial is a solemn reminder of the sacrifices made for freedom. Last but not least, we celebrate the vibrant colors of life at the annual Rose Festival. Born from a long-standing tradition, this festival marks a high point on Bloemfontein's calendar. It paints the city with an array of hues as thousands of roses bloom in unison. The festival brings sheer joy, uniting locals and visitors in a shared admiration for nature's beauty. Bursting with life, it's not just about roses, but the spirit of community it fosters. The Rose Festival is a celebration of beauty, life, and community spirit. That wraps up our journey through Bloemfontein, a city rich in history, culture, and natural beauty. From Franklin Game Reserve to the vibrant Rose Festival, there's truly something for everyone. Thank you for traveling with us. Don't forget to subscribe to Traveling Kangaroo and visit our website at travelingkangaroo.com for more exciting adventures. Until next time, keep exploring.